Hi, everyone. My name is Connor Olson with Workspace. Do me a favor and close your eyes and think about what would be harder. To go back in time 20 years, knowing what you know now, or to move 20 years into the future. Nostalgia aside, most people prefer the future. It's hard to get up on the comforts of the modern age. Imagine it's 1980. You're lucky enough to be working on a mini computer. You know, one of those washing machine sized things that takes up an entire room. Cable is still the form of entertainment and Blockbuster is the hottest spot in town. The only way to send money to one another is through snail mail. No, no EFT, no PayPal, no Venmo. Large staffs of accountants keep paper letters to run their businesses and then rely on spreadsheets for decades before software changed their lives. It's amazing how different work and life looked, and it's crazy to think how much things have changed. We certainly can't imagine using the tools of the 80s to run our lives now. At Workspace, we believe commercial real estate will work completely differently in 10 years. Talented people can be their best selves, decisions will be made more quickly, and the bar for returns and competition will be raised, fueled by technology and efficiency. Real estate has long been an industry bogged down by tons of manual processes and inefficient procedures. And digital transformation still has a long ways to go. For that reason, when it comes to doing our day jobs in commercial real estate, we still rely on the manual processes of yesterday and the multiple logins, the point solutions we've implemented over the years. We heard this story over and over when we talked to asset managers and landlords. Things are working, but chasing down answers, living in Excel, and solving for problems point by point across the business lacks efficiency and scale. What we want is one place to command our business and our days from, and this is where Workspace was born. Sure, you have solutions across your business that solve for, among other things, critical functions like accounting, leasing, forecasting. You apply technology and structure to put your data into different buckets, but you know you aren't getting the most out of it. The desire to consume, control, and interact with your firm's operational and financial data in a way that saves you time from chasing down those answers and gives you the power to make informed, good decisions quickly is something we hear also. Um, another thing we hear is, I have data living in each of these systems, but I can't see it side by side when I need it most. Or the aggregation and reporting efforts are manual and time intensive. That's where we come in. Through the simplest, most interactive asset and portfolio insights platform, CRE professionals and their stakeholders get first ever holistic financial operational performance visibility. Workspace enables faster decision making and earlier intervention for greater investor returns. This all sounds good and well for a snapshot of your business and at a point in time, but what happens when you add a fund or shed assets from your portfolio? What about when you add uh, systems or instances of accounting software? Workspace is built not only with scale in mind, but with scale as a core competency for that reason. We power over $30 billion in assets under management for our customers in accounting, working with some of the largest asset managers in the world. Our ubiquitous process and attentive team make rolling your assets on or off your portfolio within Workspace seamless, so you never miss a beat, and you can always count on the data you're seeing to be up to date and reliable. The Workspace product is robust and does hundreds of different things for all different kinds of users. From the C-suite with tens of billions of AUM to keep track of, to the regional asset manager, with a handful of properties where granularity and nuance are everything. Workspace is their command center. Today, I'd like to show you a 30,000 foot view of the power of Workspace for your business to give you an understanding of how the data rolls up, how the systems data consolidates in, and how all of that really facilitates a deep drill down. So at the portfolio level, what's happening here? Let me take a step back quickly and, and remind you that half the battle's already been fought by the time you're at this screen. All of the information from your systems are here. So we have a bunch of different portfolios that this, that this user has access to. A date configuration range, um, and our integrations go as far back as the systems that house that data, so it can be up to decades in certain cases. You have the ability to configure and add different portfolios across your business on this page. Um, and then you'll see a few key metrics that show the roll-ups for said portfolios. It's important to call out here that the KPIs you're seeing are the roll-ups of all the different systems data 
and point solutions across your portfolio brought in side by side to give you these consumable figures. So from this page alone, you can serve several groups, your investors and partners by either giving them their own login to specific prop, uh, properties or portfolios or answering the questions yourself. Uh, you can get answers to questions that matter like leasing or you can manage the team and add contacts all from this dashboard. Let's say we wanna drill into one of these portfolios. So what you'll see here is a bunch of different sub portfolios that exist within um, the office space of this organization. And then sort of the properties that exist within that. And the power I wanna highlight is that this workspace user can see his or her whole entire portfolio and like visualize that at the fund level or with just a couple clicks, we can dive into an individual property and see GL code level detail. So let's do that. Let's drill into an individual property. And I think this is where the fun really begins. So for this building, what are we looking at? Here you have some of the systems level data in the center console section. Here's some of your, you know, sort of classic visualizations, actual to actual, actual to budget, pro forma to the degree that you're stitching that data into your accounting systems, NOI, OPEX, debt service, and a host of different metrics that are critical to your business. This exists at the financials level and at the returns level, so capital facing, which is also extremely important. And remember, we're two clicks into a portfolio and we're seeing really detailed data at the asset level. So let's say OPEX is off for a certain period. Let's say we're not sure what's going on in March here. And I really don't understand this dip and I want to get into the details. So again, with the third click, I can get into GL code level detail on OPEX and see here in a friendly way, actual budget and variance configurable by month. A few of the other places we look, we look are sharing a stocking plan that displays leasing information in a very clean way. We have a place where we integrate with PTS. You can see all the, the information re relating to your leasing pipeline, all visualized here, anything surrounding with details of a lease, terms, key contacts, and so on. And then your rent roll. And this is an important and difficult place to get a lot of data accurately. A lot of our customers spend a lot of time here, so we're really proud of this. The key to all of this though, is, is how detailed do the financials get and are they all right? So again, remember these financials, these GL detailed pieces of information are all here because we pipe them directly from Broadway's Yardie, for example. And this is being brought in along with every other property in the portfolio which is what it really allows us to roll up and deliver the other KPIs in the platform. So what's next for Workspace? We have a communal philosophy as a team. What's best for our users is best for our company. Over the last several months, we've reached out to our customers as advisors to uncover the best new areas for Workspace. And there are some very exciting things on our horizon. Without saying too much, we're looking into a more robust integration with Argus, expanding our suite of KPIs and business intelligence, and potentially launching an enhanced debt and loans module. So stay tuned for that info. You know, Works, Workspace's charter is to help you and your teams liberate your data and unleash the potential of your people and ultimately to drive greater investor returns in your portfolio. The democratizing of your own data is the first step in that. We'd love the opportunity to talk with you and your team to learn more about the problems and opportunities you're facing in your business. And in order to do that, come visit us at our exhibition booth and we will be standing by and our contact information will be there as well. Thank you for the time today.